ISRO has finally shared a few glimpses of India's ambitious Aditya L1. This is India's first space-based mission to study the sun, which will observe solar activities and their effects on space weather in real time. While Chandrayaan took 40 days to reach the moon, Aditya L1 will take 4 months to be placed at Lagrange point after its launch next month. Hello everyone, welcome to Resonant News. Today we'll discuss some unique features of Aditya L1. Do watch the complete video and give us your feedback. So let us begin with Aditya L1's name. Aditya means sun in Sanskrit. While L1 is Lagrange point. To understand what is Lagrange point, let us hear this NASA scientist. Lagrange points, named after the Italian astronomer who first proposed them, are places in our solar system where the gravitational pull of the planet and the sun and the motion of the orbit combine to create an equilibrium. So it takes very little energy to retain that orbit. Objects that are sent to these locations in space either tend to stay there naturally or can be kept there with minimal energy because the forces are imbalanced. NASA has taken advantage of those Lagrange points to send extraordinary missions like the James Webb Space Telescope, which will orbit the Sun at Earth Lagrange point number two, allowing the telescope to stay in line with Earth as it moves around the Sun. As she explained, L1 is one of the Lagrange points where the objects between Earth and Sun face lesser imp impact of gravity of the two. Aditya will be placed at L1 and hence its name Aditya L1. The spacecraft shall be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point L1 of the Sun-Earth system which is about 1.5 million kilometer from the Earth. But why Lagrange point? Satellite placed in the halo orbit around L1 point has an advantage to continuously view the sun without any occultation or eclipses. Aditya L1 will be carrying seven payloads. It will study the photosphere, chromosphere and outermost layers of the sun using electromagnetic and particle and magnetic field detectors. Using the special vantage point of L1, four payloads will directly view the sun and the remaining three payloads will carry out in situ studies of particles and fields at Lagrange point L1. Initially, the spacecraft will be placed in a low Earth orbit. Subsequently, the orbit will be made more elliptical and later the spacecraft will be launched towards L1 by using onboard propulsion. This will help Aditya save fuel. The total travel time from launch to L1 would take about 4 months for Aditya L1. Why will this mission be unique? The mission is unique as it is the first time spatially resolved solar disk in the near UV band. Aditya L1 will use multi-direction observation for directional and energy anisotropy of solar wind. In addition to this, the suits of Aditya L1 payloads are expected to provide crucial information to understand the problems of coronal heating, coronal mass ejections or CMEs, pre-flare and flare activities and their characteristics, the dynamics of space weather, propagation of particle and fields, etc. This will help Indian scientists improve the space weather forecasting which will contribute to climate research. So is Aditya L1 a complete mission to study the sun? ISRO says the obvious answer is no, which is not only true for Aditya L1 but in general for any space mission. The reason is simple, that due to limited mass, power and volume of the spacecraft that carry the scientific payloads in space, only a limited set of instruments with limited capacity can be sent on board the spacecraft. Sun is a very dynamic star that extends much beyond what we see. It has taken India several years to create Aditya L1. Here's wishing ISRO all the best for its mission next month. We'll keep you updated on this. Watch the space.